an opening thing? <laughs> Yeah, obviously uh, disappointed in the effort. Starts with me first and foremost. Uh, failed the kids somewhere along the week today. Got to go back and, and, and reassess how we approached last week. The, the growth that we've made obviously didn't show up today. And to, uh, to have that effort is a little bit, not a little bit, it's, it's disappointing because I know that we're better than that. And, and I know a lot of our friends and fans that made the trip, you know, they deserve and they've earned better than that. And our kids have earned the right to play better than that. Tip of the cap to Chuck Martin and his staff. They did a fabulous job, really, want, you know, really beat us in all three phases. And, and we got to do a better job getting back to square one. As far as I'm concerned, going forward here at 0 0 in the win loss column, we got a really, really important game back at Dick Stadium uh, th this upcoming week. And, and, and we're going to know who's truly all in with us and, and is bought into our way of doing things as we continue down the rest of the season here. Coach, this last week of practice, how did, was it good, bad? How did it go into this game? It, it was very much like today's uh, a, a contest to where we had really good days, really good sections, and, and then where there's mental lapses. So right now we're consistently inconsistent, and we always preach that we need to be consistently good, not occasionally great, and that's what we're really lacking. It's where we as a staff have to do a great job really fine-tuning either the plan, what we're asking the kids to do, so we can put them in the right spots, but we're consistently inconsistent, and we need to be consistently good, not occasionally great. There was a 45 yard run by Woody Barrett. There was a muff punt. You guys recovered. These momentum opportunities didn't capitalize. How huge are those opportunities? Say the last part of it again, I'm sorry. How huge are those opportunities, those momentum opportunities? Yeah, again, it's a, it's a matter of focus and, and, and a matter of making sure that we're putting our kids in the best position to succeed um, and that we develop a, an instinct for those moments that, hey, there, there's a chance here to really impact the game and we jump on those opportunities as opposed to thinking that they're going to be given to us. We have to go earn them. We have to go earn every single yard and we have to fight for every single yard. And at times we don't fight hard enough. And that means that we're not leading hard enough. We're not leading with enough passion. I got to do a better job with that, obviously, so that our kids instill and they play with our personality as leaders. Because I believe that teams will take on the and reflect the personality of their leadership. So I got to spend more time around our kids. And again, we're going to see who's all the way in this upcoming week and the rest of the season. Because are they going to pull together or are they going to pull apart? My family, we're going to pull together. And I'm looking forward to the way our kids respond here the next few weeks. Now, no offensive production much today. What can you really put that to without seeing the tape yet? Uh, you know, too early to tell with that, but some, some, you know, again, lack of technique, some, some misreads. But again, you know, it, it, it's, it's not just one thing to point to. I got to look at the tape and kind of figure out what, what really led to that. Now, uh, the versatility, uh, versatility of Kenny Young, uh, Alonzo Smith. How does that impact the game? Uh, for Miami. Yeah, I mean, when you have utility players like that, the way that they do, and they can be used a lot of different ways, it puts stress on you as, how, as far as how you're going to build your defensive plan. So, again, tip of the cap to Coach Martin and his staff. They got some utility players that they can use a lot of different ways. And again, that's where we got to continue to learn and find out what our personnel and our people do best so we can put them in the best position to succeed and we have favorable matchups. Now, that second quarter, uh, they got three touchdowns there. What did you go into halftime? What did you tell the guys there? You know, that we have to clear and then we got to let that go because there's nothing more that we can do about it. And I challenge them to come out and compete and fight and finish the right way in the second half. Obviously, we didn't do that to our standards, not even close. And again, we got to reassess where we're at, reassess that we got the right people in the right spots and that we're using the right schemes, all right, to, to maximize our potential and our, and our skill. Uh, second half from Miami, great clock management by them. Uh, how did that kind of take away any momentum you guys had to try to get a comeback together? Uh, again, I think you said it. I mean, it's where they did a nice job really taking the air out of the football, and they sustained drives, and they finished with points, and that's going to be a recipe for winning all the time. Uh, last question. Any positives from today? I was pleased with the way that our kids fought at the very end. The offense went back out there. There wasn't a whole lot of blank stares. They challenged each other to go get points. They went and got points, and, they, and then we didn't walk out here with a shutout, which is great.